Hello everyone and welcome to GGF. This is week four and I am Ronnie Brown. Last week we saw the GGF tag team tournament round one matchups where we saw the dummies defeat Archibald and Black due to the referee missing a grab of the bottom rope. They will move on and try to become the next tag team champions. Also moving on was Brimstone and Jumbo Exhibit defeated the dudes on a destiny. Marcel had a chance to break up the pin but decided not to. Is there dissension in the ranks there? And finally in our main event last week, we saw Ryan Oregon defeat Rip Thomas for the GGF Global Championship by submission. The first time in history Rip Thomas has submitted. That is the second straight title defense for Ryan Oregon. Will he be able to retain his title tonight? And first, let's get down to the ring for, for a match to determine the number one contender for next week's championship match. number one contendership match it is KC Manners and Sedimentary Stan. The fantastic one versus the good one. As we see, KC Manners trying that high flying attack. He's gonna, that's, that's gonna be his method for attacking his opponent. And it looks like Stan has those rights and left hands that he is going to abuse and misuse his opponents with. And that is going to be his game plan. He's want, gonna wanna keep Casey Manners grounded inside out. But he's gonna wanna he, keep him grounded and pounded while Casey is gonna wanna get the energy moving and get some high risk, high octane energy offense. That is going to be his key to the matchup tonight. And the winner of this match will go on next week to challenge for the GGF Global Championship. So there is a lot on the line here as these two men performed very well in the opening week in the GGF Rumble. And right now this match has been very back and forth as we see Manners dropping the knee right across the forehead of Sedimentary Stan. Big vicious boots and kicks. Oh, already going for it. The calf cruiser. The calf demolisher. The lower leg lumbar check. It's 
Sedimentary stand saying, I, you're not the only one who can fly off the top. I'll fly off of Oregon Ryan's rope for the big axe handle. Here we go, big, uh-oh, spine on the pine. Could we be seeing it? No, not yet. Big spine buster, will that get the finish? No, it will not, just the two count. Both these men, very versed, have a lot of different ways to put you down. Of course, Stan has that big elbow that he'll drop on you. Casey Manners has the clash where he'll drop all of you, but he's going for the fantastic forearm, and he gets it, hits it, and busted open is Sedimentary Stan. Could that be all? Oh, no, it won't. Kick out at 2.9. And the fans are enjoying this already as they are chanting fight forever. Casey Mann is showing that phenomenal forearm, that fantastic forearm, showing the calf crush of the lower leg lock. And Stan has already showed off his spine buster. He can also drop that elbow or bring you down to right bottom, but no, went for a flying cross body. Nothing left at the pool. Casey follows up with a DDT and uh-oh. He's indecisive. Is he too far away? He can't figure it out. He's not sure. Went for a big running arm drag there. Picked that up overseas in Japan where he has been seasoned. But sedimentary Stan, former athlete, big time in Miami, went to Canada, is a prodigy. So much can be said about sedimentary stand. Oh my gosh. But Casey Manners busted him open with that fantastic forearm. It looks like he's going for it again. Could he hit it? He does! Making that wound ever so deeper. And could it be? Could we be throwing salt? Yes, we will! Casey Manners with not one, but two fantastic forearms. Leave sedimentary stand, bloody beaten and broken as KC will go on next week to challenge for the GGF Global Championship. As we get to the highlights here, this was all KC Manners. Sedimentary stand had a bit, had a very short blip of offense, but unfortunately he could not keep up with the Blitzkrieg. That was provided by Casey Manners. Not one, but two fantastic forearms. So he will move on. And just like Casey will move on, we will move on to our next matchup. It is the final match of the first round of the GGF Tag Team Title Tournament. One hundred. 
accompanied by Jonathan Eaton at a combined weight of 536 pounds. And here we go, the final match of the first round of the Tag Team Title Tournament. As we see Will Athens and Judas going against Dexter Scott and Nice Padre of the Have to Block. With Jonathan Eaton at ringside. And it looks like Will Athens has had some action already here. And he is looking to get back at Red Dummy for all of the trouble he has caused him. The backstage assault, the, the match where not once, but twice was he dropped right on his face. It looks like Will Athens is not starting strong here in this tag match as he is thrown to the outside by a nice Padre. The referee begins his count. As Padre tags in Dexter Scott. Dexter Scott clearly not taking Athens seriously. He knows what Red Dummy has been doing to him. As we saw Red Dummy last week move on by some nefarious tactics. Could the referee have been in his pocket? As we saw Archibald grab the bottom rope. So we will have to see what happens next week as the dummies will take on Jumbo Exhibit and Brimstone. The winner of this match will go on next week to fight the Grunge, and it looks like it might be have to block. Or the Grunge might have a first-class ticket to the finals if Athens and Scott cannot make it back into the ring. Looks like Scott's back in. Athens is back in as a count of seven. And Dexter Scott pulls Athens back in as the referee will restart his count. Big tag into Judas as this is the second time we will be seeing we've seen Judas so far here in the GGF. He had a appearance in the GGF Rumble to become the first champion, but was unsuccessful. Judas, a very good tag team wrestler in his own right, has had some success with some minor championships, has still yet to win the big one at this point in his career. And right now, all that tag team prowess in his mind, he knows he's got to get out of this corner. He's got to do something. And there it is, Sunset flip out of the powerbomb, kick out at one. He's got to get back on offense, and he's going for it in a big way as he's going up to the top rope. What will he hit? Big fly drop kick! Nails him right in the tight clip! Unfortunately, you are going to have to be more than that to take down the big heavyweight, Dexter Scott. Oh, big rolling neck breaker there. A camel clutch here applied! Close to the ropes, nice Padre knows Dexter's got this in the bag as he slips down behind with the takedown. Whipping into the corner here, big right hand coming back. Oh, and the elbows driving it into the ear hole of Judas. That is not gonna go well here. He's gonna need to get back on offense and get in Will Athens here. Athens, oh, big elbow drop, dropping it right on the heart of Judas and could that be all Athens not in to break it up but Judas will kick out at 2.5 nice Padre really not happy about that as he gives him a choke trying to take the life out of him dropping yet another elbow on him and this time he says I'll take it to your elbow drops the foot and again third time is it a charm it might be, but it might be Dexter Scott's trying as he comes in. And he's going up top. What's he gonna hit? Could it be a big elbow off the top? What can we be seeing? No, he wants him to get up. He wants to look you in the eyes as he uh, drops off. 
mind games happening here in the tag team title tournament. As Judas is able to somehow fight through and tag in Will Athens. Oh, looking for a big German suplex, but caught an elbow. Judas still in the ring. The referee's got to get him out of there. Otherwise, have to block would have moved on to the next round of face. The grunge. Big standing Oklahoma slam. Seal tag in, nice Padre. Good tag team action. Keeping the guy fresh, going in and out, making quick tags. And here, maybe looking for a tag team move here, but Athens is able to stop short. He knows what's coming for him in that corner if he's there. Fighting through, going big slingshot. Went for a hurricane runner, but the calculation was short. He missed the pool on that dive. Padre taking advantage of that blunder. Bounce off the ropes, went for a leg drop. That was rolled through by Athens, but the strikes do not stop as Padre hits him with fists and elbows and drops him with a beautiful looking suplex there. Padre tagging out to Dexter Scott and here comes Scott he's looking uh oh we've seen this once before he went up there just to bring him down what could we be seeing out of Dexter Scott and he went ahead in a flying famous sir could that be all oh Judas getting into the ring was able to kick the ref in the head and that actually was able to break up the pinfall attempt there. As just as you see it, Will Athens Fire Fisherman Suplex released it at the end, and he is a house of fire right now. Dropping him, reverse DDT. Following up with an elbow. Athens has a lot of ways to finish here, and this is one of them. The Athens Tamer. Could that be it? Could this be all for have the block? Could Athens move on to the next round to face the dummies, hopefully in the finals? But no, not right now. As Padre and Judas are going after it in the outside, the referee's gonna have to do something about that. But Dexter Scott with the scissors kick, that could be it, but no. Right back up is Athens. And going to work with the ground game. Oh, bottom of moonsault hits no one. And Scott going to work on that forehead. Getting himself a little bit of a breather here to get Padre in here. And hopefully finish up this matchup for have the block. I, we all know Jonathan Eaton. He's going to want to see that. He's going to want to block Athens from moving on and getting his redemption. Athens has had a rough go of it. He was knocked out of the GGF Rumble, unable to en enter it, thanks to a backstage assault from Red Dummy. He looked to get his... Oh, and look at this! The Athens Tamer, here it is! Could Padre tap? Could this be all for him to block Judas? Oh no, Judas! Padre, no! We've seen this before, the cover. And Will Athens will move on in similar fashion to the Red Dummy. So, could Athens be picking up some tricks out of his arch rival's book? Looks like Judas is unaware of how they won, but he does not care. Wow, and that is the end of the first round. These two, Will Athens and Judas, will move on next week to face the grunge. And just like they're moving on next week to face the grunge, we are moving on to our final matchup, our main event, the GGF Global Championship match.
Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 232 pounds, Paul Orton. And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 237 pounds, he is the Global Global Fighting Champion. And here we go, the GGF Global Championship match. The cage comes down as two brothers step in. One man will walk out champion and looks like Hal Oregon already trying to escape. As he is getting his footing after only a single Russian leg sweep. Hal Oregon had a tremendous, tremendous appearance in the GGF Rumble. An impressive showing that earned him the ability to choose which title match he was going to have. And he decided, Steel Cage, you got me once before, you won't get me again. Brian Oregon coming off some of his biggest wins. He's faced Marvin. He's faced Rip Thomas and was able to come out as the victor. And here he is not wasting any time trying, both men trying actively to get outside of that ring. They want to become champion and move on because they know next week they have a title defense against Casey Manners. Big electric chair drop there. Each man trying to get out of the ring, trying to get out of this brutal cage match as quickly as possible because they want to be all rested and healthy for their matchup next week. Each men showing their, their similar styles here. Both are mat technicians. Both have phenomenal, phenomenal ring awareness. But how Oregon has that just little something extra. He has the speed. He has the high flying ability to do just about anything he wants. Oh, but the intelligence from Ryan Oregon is just unmistakable. The intelligence that Ryan Oregon has has, kept, has catapulted him to a couple of very impressive title defenses. And the anger and vitriol that is coming from Hal Oregon has to be, cannot be understated. This match is pinfall, submission, or escape from the cage. Any way you can win a match, you can do it in this one. Looks like Hat Ryan Oregon going after the knees of Hal, trying to prevent him from getting to a vertical base so that he can stop his... Uh-oh, both men going to the top. Ryan Oregon, could he do it? Uh-oh. What could we be seeing? Could we be seeing yet another title defense? Hal up to the top. Oh no, both men grappling at the top of the cage. How saving his chances, Ryan trying desperately to smash his ball and all the way off the top. Could that be all? That could be everything. As Hal tries, oh, fighting back. The bloody Hal Oregon is fighting fist up, hand over fist to try and get Ryan off the top of that cage. Uh-oh, what can we be seeing here as he's pulling him down? 
Big shots. Oh, now he's trying to climb. He's trying to take advantage. He's going for the high ground. How? And Ryan climbing side by side. It looks like Hal is trying to escape here. Both men at the top of the cage on the same side. We've seen this once before. Hal has already taken the 15 foot high fall to the canvas. Uh oh. And now Ryan will take the fall. Crashing down at the mat below. Luckily for Hal, Ryan unable to get up so quickly. Cut the weeks of punishment. And it will! It looks like it will be! We will have a new champion! Hal Organ! Climbing over the top of the cage will become your next GGF Global Champion! Brother v. Brother! Bloody, battered, and bruised, but he is the victor! And here you see it. Not a lot of in-ring moves there, but a lot of work with the cage. As we saw how it was able to throw his brother off the top and climb down. And here we see what we see, the fight to get down the cage. And winning the GGF Global Here's Championship. And there he is. We will see him. We will see you. And we will see KC Manners challenging him next week. Until then, I have been your host, Ronnie Brown. This has been GGF Fresh. And we will see you next week for another episode of Heart Pounding Grappling Fun. Good night, everybody.